Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yo! I'm Professor Powerline and in the last part we got our happy little Pikachu here and um, that's really about all we did. We got our Pokedex but that's pretty nice. Anyway, in this one we're going to try to get to through Viridian Forest and we'll see if we can challenge the gym leader if I make good time but I'll be honest it's really unlikely. Anyway, here we go. Also a couple things I got to do in um... In Viridian City while I'm there, which I'll show, but shouldn't take too long. I will get better cutting these Pokemon battles out, but for the time being, I'm just going to fast forward through them. Okay, and here we are. So the only thing we really need to do here is Arkham and you heal your Pokemon, which I've already done. And then you want to go into the Pokemon Mart here. And you want to buy at least, whoops, not 99. At least five Pokeballs because believe me, you will need them. This first gym is totally unforgiving, and well, you'll see when we get there. Anyway, so up here, if we come here earlier, we would find this guy's blocking our path. If we pass him now, he's gonna show us how to catch Pokemon. Which uh, you really get tired of pretty quick, actually. If you played this game more than once, don't you know, I just make a Pokemon appear by sheer force of will? I love that. No wild grass, no nothing, he just makes a Pokemon appear. And his name's Old Man. Hello, creativity. Or stereotypes, I can't tell. Anyway, he failed to catch it, so that was a really ineffective demonstration. Thank you for wasting a minute of my life. Okay, let's go. So over here there's a gym, but we can't go there right now because the gym leader's out. If you look at your trainer card, the East Gym Lead is actually a question mark, and that's this gym here. We'll come back here way later in this LP, but for the right now, we're just going to bypass it. Anyway, so we go up here, and around this wild grass. And in here is the closest thing to a dungeon this game will ever get. Pretty enforced. Um, there's only one essential trainer battle in here, and I'm only going to show him if I can help it. Dang it. Uh, but I'm going to come back and do the rest off camera because believe me, that first gym, you really want the experience points. I can't stress how badly you want um, to be ready for that first gym. It's just totally unforgiving. This guy's not a trainer, so you can have to, you can put on the breath. I wish she's just going around that. Anyway, I'm going to catch a few Pokemon here, but I have no intention of training any of them because they're really pretty worthless at this point of the game. What you want to do is you want to get just like a massive team for the first gym because you're, um, like I said, tell you what, then we'll get there. You need to quit doing that. Anyway, you're, there are a few new Pokemon here, like Caterpie and, um, well, basically just Caterpie's evolutions. Uh, they're pretty useless unless you want an early psychic type like Butterfree. But, yeah. Oh, and if you're going to buy, get a um, Caterpie, whatever you do, do not catch a Metapod. They're a pain in the butt to train and only no uh, defensive moves, so if you want a Butterfree, catch a Caterpie first. Okay, I hate wild grass. A lot. A lot. I hate I hate wild grass a lot. It, it really makes me upset. This guy's level 6. I'm actually gonna try and catch this guy. Because I really love Pidgey, and um, I'm gonna make it a good flying type, and like I said, I love Pidgey. Okay, because that is, I'm not going to read that. Anyway, down here is an item. There's really nothing interesting in this first forest. Um, I'm going to use that potion I have real quick on this Pidgey, because he may be useful in this fight, getting some levels. And the only mandatory trainer in this place. He's going to have a level 10 Caterpie, which is great, because it could have been a Butterfree at this point, but I guess he's, um... Why was he trainer again to hunt all? That was a critical hit, are you kidding me? Oh, that's why he has those move by four levels. <laughs> Pay attention. Anyway, I'll get through this quick and I might have been wrong, we might actually get to do a little bit in the um, gym area. I'm gonna switch to um, Pidgey here and have him do the final blow. Anyway, um, I don't love this Caterpie, it needs to die, like, quickly. There we go. Yay, Pichu, little dog.
Okay, almost out, but not quite. Hang on. And, oh my goodness, the last patch of brats. Are you kidding me? Run. And we're out, yay! The first mage-ish thing has been cleared. Anyway, when I was younger, I actually got stuck in that place for like three days. It's kind of embarrassing. Oh well, I got out, so it's all good. Anyway, um, I've, this video's been pretty short, but there isn't too much we can do here, as far as I know. But let's stick around anyway, make sure I don't not having a memory lapse. And I'm gonna keep going turbo for a second here. Um. Oh. No. There's nothing really important in there, ever, but however, if you do this, if you come back here and use. Oh, wait. No. Yeah. I'm having a really memory lapse right now, you just gonna have to bear with me. But, um, anyway, here's our first gym battle, and I'm gonna do the first trainer in it. I always make a point about all the trainers and gyms because if you only get one shot at them after that, they're totally useless. And you're gonna see why this gym's such a freaking pain. Because they have round types, and up to this point, watch. Pikachu can't do anything against them at all whatsoever, nothing. Which makes this gym totally unforgiving. Your starter Pokemon, which at this point will be your best, can't do anything to defend itself. Which means we're gonna have to defend totally on Pokemon like Pidgey and whatever else we can catch. Unless you want to take time to level uh, Pikachu until it learns a um, not electric attack, but that is a serious pain. And I lost! How fun! My first trainer battle and I lost it. So, anyway, I've decided that I'm just gonna be weird like that and end off on a failure. Because I'm just that cool. And, um, well, yeah, I guess I'll see y'all next time. Next time, I will challenge Jim, and here's hoping we can beat it. Okay, 